the garden. It's Christina from Sunshine and Flora. So today I am out here putting up my support netting for my cut flowers. And I thought that this might be a really good thing to share with you guys. Now, uh, technically I should have had this out much sooner. Usually when I plant my seedlings, then maybe a week or so later, I get all this support netting out because you really want to get it up before the plants get tall enough to need the netting. Um, but I'm a little behind this year. If you guys have been watching my videos, you know that. Um, these are not too bad. And the other snapdragons I'm gonna show you on the other side of the greenhouse, um, they are just fine because they are another succession planting. But as you will see, the plants that I'm putting in the hoop house or the support netting I'm putting in the hoop house totally should have been out a long time ago. Um, but anyway, better late than never. So uh, this is the support netting. It comes in a roll of, I believe, um, four or five feet wide by 300 or so feet long. I will link it down below in my Amazon link. I purchased it off Amazon and it is called Horta Nova Netting. And what it is, is it's a plastic netting and basically you put stakes in the ground and then you use the stakes to pull the netting tight around your flowers and then when your flowers go up through the netting, you can move the netting up or down depending on the height of the flowers. And then that holds them in place to help keep the nice straight stems that you need for your market bouquets. So Snapdragons is definitely one that I need to support. And when I take you out to the hoop house, you will see why it needs netting. Um, this is a succession planting of Medan Butterfly Snapdragons. I did not pinch these, so these will give nice strong stems on their first growth. And um, this netting will definitely help them have nice strong stems. So I'm just gonna kind of push it up, down on all sides. Um, and I'll put a close up on the screen so that it is at the top of the plants. And as these grow up, then I'll just move the netting up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the netting on the rest of my plants. And then I'm gonna give you guys a tour of everything that I'm using the support netting on this year. I should also mention that the stakes I'm using this year are a four foot garden state. I got them at a local um, garden center. I think they were maybe 75 cents a piece. They are green, um, a plastic material, but I think that they have maybe um, like a steel um, post or steel strip in the center. And the white you see on the top is the price tag. It's pointy on this end, but the ground is soft enough today. I was able to put it in upside down. I wanted to keep the white on top. That way when I'm walking through the garden, I could easily see these and I don't, you know, do a poke your eye out or anything. So um, they're really affordable. You can get them at any garden center. You can also get them on Amazon. So they're nice and sturdy and that's what I'm using for my supports this year. Okay, I'm gonna get all the netting out and then I'm gonna give you a tour of everything that I'm supporting. Okay, so here is one of the spots that I put netting on. This one looks a little wonky because uh, the area is wider than the actual netting. So I have two pieces in here. This is a strip of Bells of Ireland and this is a strip of Mountain Mint, which I'm trying out as a filler. Um, I think I need to net the Bells of Ireland and I know I need to net the Mountain Mitten. So I just decided to kind of net this whole area just to give them support. I've never grown each of them before. So these are both trial years, um, but this area is ready to go. Let me move on and show you all of the rest of the areas. So here's that first Snapdragon area again, looking really good. One thing that I forgot to mention, along the edge, you do wanna make sure to cut off any excess netting because trust me, it's really easy to trip over and get your foot caught in. So you wanna make sure to trim it. Um, also right next to these Snapdragons is a patch of honeywort. It's just starting to put on blooms. This I may need to corral, um, but for now I'm just leaving it. This is a filler I'm trialing also this year. So really excited to see what that looks like. But this Snapdragon patch is all ready to go. Here's a look at that other Snapdragon patch, also looking really good. This is a patch of Bupleurum, definitely needs netted. I grew Bupleurum last year and absolutely loved it for filler. And so I wanted to make sure to get it netted in time before it got too tall. So this area is all ready to go. Uh, one area that I wish that I would have netted was my yarrow. Now for the most part, most of it is looking pretty good and standing upright. If we give, get a heavy rain, that will not be the case. But look at all of this kind of laying in my pathway. If I would have had netting, those would totally be supported. So note to myself for next year, net my yarrow. 
My Rubecchia patch is looking amazing. There is no need to net Rubecchia, but I just wanted to show you guys this. This is second year Rubecchia, and I just put a whole bunch of bouquets ready yesterday um, for a florist, which you will probably see in the next video. This Rubecchia is so awesome. I need to plant more. I think a lot of this is the Sahara variety or the Cherokee Sunset variety. One area I'm going to hold off netting for now is my zinnias. Last year I did not net them and they were just fine. If anything, I may need to corral them. Um, but this whole row of zinnias is looking so good. I'm actually starting to get some little colored buds. These will not be tall enough for bouquets, but I'll just pinch them off and then they will keep branching out. Oh my gosh, there's a huge weed right there. Um, but for now I'm going to leave these not netted and then maybe just corral them if I need to. I am so happy with this growing space. I wish I would have had it last year. I cannot wait to see this fully grown. Okay, so we're entering the hoop house. I have two areas netted here. The first one is along this side. I stretched it all the way to the end. This is a little patch of nigella that is starting to come up. I don't know if I need to net these, but I thought it was easier just to have my stakes go to the end, so I included them. Um, this is a patch of direct sown cress, which, which absolutely needs to be netted. It's starting to put some upward growth, and so I wanted to definitely get this on here. This will be a filler, which I'm really excited about. And then my lisianthus. My lisianthus is looking so good. Some of these first blooms I'm going to clip off and allow it to get taller for the next blooms. Um, but lisianthus I always like to net. And so I'm really glad that I finally got this on here. One thing I wish I would have netted earlier on was stock. Now this patch of stock kind of stalled out. I'm just leaving it because I don't know when it gets cool in the fall if it will eventually flower. Um, it's looking so good, so I'm not going to tear it out, but I don't know. It's an experiment. Now this stock got nice and tall and a lot of them were falling over. Uh, so I think next year I will net my stock. So now we're on the other side and these are the snapdragons I was telling you about that I should have netted weeks ago. If you can see when I zoom in here, See this stem that's like all crooked? Whoops, sorry, I bumped the camera. Um, that is because that snapdragon was almost laying on the ground. Snapdragons will grow towards the light. I can't think of the term for that. So if they lay out on the ground, the top will start curving upward and then they do not have a nice straight stem like this one. Well, this is under the nanny, but look at how bent this stem is. It should be growing upward it's bent. That's because it was laying on the ground because it wasn't netted. Same with these that are super curved. So I should have had this netting on a long time ago. I'm hoping that since these don't have um, fully developed buds on them, they will start growing up the correct direction, but we will see that as just an experiment. Um, but I'm really glad to finally have these netted. My Madame Butterfly ones down here are looking really good. So this area should give me some really great blooms. I do have some Costa Apricot that definitely need harvested, so I'll probably do that later today. One more thing while we're in here, down the middle, this is my dahlia patch. I'm gonna do a dahlia video coming up to give you some updates. Um, I do not net my dahlias, I corral them. So I will make sure to show you guys how I do that when it's time. Okay, so that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I net all of my flowers and what I used to do that. I just thought it was a really good thing to share with you guys. Um, the garden is really coming along. It's going to be a really great season and I can't wait to just show you guys how it all progresses. Uh, I also have some bouquet making videos coming up. I have some dahlia updates coming up and everything else in the season. So anyway, stay tuned for a lot more. We'll see you soon.